A community is showing support for 12 year old Tyler Mabe. You can see on this church sign it reads pray for Tyler and his family trust in Jesus. The crash site is less than a mile away from where I'm standing at this church. I'm told a church member who happens to be a former EMT was here for service last night and one of the first people to arrive on scene to help. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves this. A horrific situation leaving a 12 year old boy fighting for his life. He does have a brain injury and his brain is swelling. Um, his sternum is broken, all of his ribs. He does have an injury to one of his legs. Tammy <laughs> Kellis is in disbelief the over the news regarding her young cousin, Tyler Mabe. More than 24 hours have passed and investigators are still working to pinpoint the driver who struck him and took off. I, I really don't know what to say to a, a person that does that. An uncle tells me Tyler was walking this road with a friend late last night. He was about a mile away from reaching his destination before being hit. Orange paint on scene marks the tragic night in Moore County. What really burdens my heart is the fact that someone hit that child and left him in the ditch to die. I mean, it's just terrible. Pastor Mark Medlin tells me he's met the family a few times at Guiding Light Baptist Church. He's a good kid. He really is a good kid. I just I hate this happened to him. Family members say it's time for the hit and run driver to turn themselves in. Hopefully this person will realize that you know, it would be better on them if they just go ahead and come forward and not just leave this hanging out there. Guiding Light Baptist Church is planning on holding a prayer vigil tomorrow night at 7 in honor of Tyler. Aaron Thomas, WRL News, Moore County.